Thank you for joining us today at the Leduc Grain Elevator, a truly iconic symbol of Leduc and familiar sight across rural Alberta. I'd like to thank the Alberta Legacy Development Society for hosting us here today. During the past two years, it has become apparent that having adequate internet access is a necessity in our province. All too often, students, people working from home, Indigenous com communities, home-based businesses, and people trying to connect with family and friends in a virtual environment are at a distinct disadvantage because of slow internet speeds. Improving rural broadband has become a priority with the Edmonton Metro Region Board and it is essential to modern agriculture and the farmers and ranchers who grow our food. A recent economic analysis found that the Edmonton Region could add up to a billion dollars in GDP per year by improving internet connectivity to rural communities. Alberta's government has been working to address these issues and I look forward to hearing more about our province's next steps to improve access to broadband connectivity. With that, I will invite the Honourable Goody Hutchings, the Federal Minister of Rural Economic Development to the podium to get us started. Thank you, Minister. Thanks so much, Mayor. Good morning, everyone. And like I said, thanks for the great welcome. You're making me feel at home. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in the beautiful Long Range Mountains, which is the west coast of Newfoundland and Labrador. And the temperature is the same this morning, so thanks for making me feel at home. As I was saying to my colleague here, your minister, Gluwish, we do have a little more snow. But thanks to everybody for joining us this morning. And thank you, Mayor Young, for being here and that wonderful introduction and telling me all about your town. Hopefully we can have a little bit of time to explore later. And I'm also delighted to be joined by my new friend and colleague, Honorable Nate Glubish, the Minister for Service Alberta, for an incredible announcement today for the people of Alberta. Along here is Kara Westland, the VP of Rural Municipalities, and Ken Clovey, the President of the Alberta Chambers of Commerce. And I'm finally proud to be here in person to share some great news. And I really want to give a shout out to Carrie and her team at the Alberta Legacy Development Society for hosting us in this beautiful facility today. She gave us a bit of the history and the background and how important this is for, um, to remember, to remember how important this industry is for, for this entire area. So I want, before we begin, I want to respectfully acknowledge that we're in the Treaty 6 territory and land which is dear to the people of the Métis people. If I was speaking to you from home today, I would be saying hello from the traditional lands of the Béothic people. So, as the mayor said, access to affordable, reliable, high-speed internet is essential. And there's no doubt that the pandemic just expediated that. The pandemic ripped off the band-aid of how we needed to get people connected faster. And your federal government really understands that. And we are committed to reaching our national target by connecting 98% of Canadians by 2026 and every single Canadian, no matter where you live, by 2030. And we've backed up this commitment by action. The Government of Canada is investing billions to build internet infrastructure throughout the country. And just last week, we announced an investment by the Government of Canada to help small businesses grow and expand in the digital economy. And these are the kinds of programs that are going to help our economy and your economy remain competitive and further expand our markets. I want to tell you a little story about an artisan in my riding, and their community received high-speed internet last year. Um, and she's a, a, a sh uh, an incredible artisan. She takes shells and sand and driftwood and mixes it with acrylics and makes incredible pieces, charcuterie boards, artwork. And she said to me, she said, what the internet did for me was now my customers weren't who came through the door, my customers were the world. And the day I visited her, she said, this parcel is going to Scotland, this one is going to California. She said, that's what high-speed internet did for me. And as the mayor alluded to, what technology does here, where farming is so important, for the farmers in the field with the new technology that can help you with your soil and your crops, your fertilizers, that's what high-speed internet can do, which it can just take us to the whole new digital world and we need to make sure that that's for everybody, just not in urban centers. We need to make sure that's available for rural and remote communities. Yes, we all know about the kids doing their homework around the kitchen table and working from home, but there's so much other things as we build this digital world, how far this can take us as Canadians and as Albertans. So that brings us why we're here today. So did you know that today, more than 200,000 rural homes and remote homes in Alberta don't have access to reliable internet? 
So you can see why it's so crucial that we close this connection gap and ensure that every nook and cranny in Alberta has access to internet. And if you don't know by now, that's a real Newfoundland saying, every nook and cranny. So whether that's from Barnwell to High Level, from Bronvale to Fort Fitzgerald, or from Acadia Valley to New Serapita, we're getting Canadians connected. And Canadians, connectivity is a priority for our government, and that's why we've invested over $200 million since 2015 to get 37,000 homes connected in Alberta. And as with a goal of this size, the federal government can't do it alone. Connectivity is a shared responsibility that reaches across all jurisdictions. And here in Alberta, the provincial government has stepped up to the plate, and I want to thank Minister Glubish for that. Just this past December, my colleague Randy Bostineau, on my behalf, announced a dollar-for-dollar -dollar matching with your province, where both levels of government announced a combined amount of $300 million in funding to close the connection gap. But as I said, there's more to do when we all realize that. And in recognizing that, the federal government is working hand in hand with your province to achieve our national goal of connecting 98% by 2026 and 100% by 2030. I keep saying that because that is a goal. If you've looked at my mandate letter, that's there, and I'm determined to reach it, if not before, Minister. So with that being said, I'm proud to announce an additional $240 million in funding on top of our $150 million commitment back in December. That's a dollar-for-dollar dollar match made by Alberta's government last week. So that brings the total combined funding by both our governments of Canada and Alberta just shy of $800 million. And I can't express how great this is for Albertans. We know that Internet's no longer a luxury, it's a necessity and we're both going to deliver on that province. So my congratulations to everyone who made this collaboration possible. We've all made a difference to the lives of Albertans and Canadians, and I look forward to hearing the good news stories here in Alberta when we get everyone connected. Thank you so much, and I now want to turn the floor over to my new friend, Minister Glubish. Well, thank you so much, Minister Hutchings, for those uh, opening remarks and for joining us here today in Alberta. Uh, before I get started, I also would just like to thank Mayor Bob Young, uh, my colleague Brad Rutherford, the MLA for Leduc Beaumont for being here, Kara from RMA, thank you so much. Um, this is a really exciting day for Alberta. Um, and, I, and I too would also like to just thank Carrie Atkinson with the Alberta Legacy Development Society. This is such a great spot to talk about rural Alberta uh, and I really enjoyed learning about this iconic Leduc grain elevator this morning. You know in the earliest days of Alberta's history grain elevators were central to our growing economy and trucks like the one you see behind me connected hard-working farmers to nearby communities so they could get their grain to market and the railroads just outside connected, the market, connected them to markets all across the country and across the continent. Well um, we now know obviously, that while our economy has changed since then, we still rely on connect connectors. And it just looks a little bit different. And that is why today's broadband announcement is so important. Because broadband, much like this old truck, and much like the railroad outside, it connects hardworking Albertans to their local markets, but also, as Minister Hutching said, to international economies. And so improving connectivity for rural, remote, and indigenous communities has been my top priority since I became Minister of Service Alberta in 2019. I've had so many conversations with people from all across this province over the last two years, and I wanted to hear how connectivity, or the lack thereof, was affecting Alberta's communities and our residents. And it became very clear to me how critically important this situation was. Time and time again, communities told me about how businesses had to close uh, because they needed to follow high-speed internet to a rural, or from the rural community that was home to the nearest urban center and taking their jobs with them. Families were counted settings where the household had to ration their time on the internet in the ho home so that each kid could take a turn to get their homework done. Every story was different, but they all led to the same conclusion. Alberta needed reliable high-speed internet connectivity in every corner of the province. And ultimately, we know that our province is facing approximately a $1 billion problem to get universal connectivity for every single Albertan and Alberta business. And so today, I'm so proud to share in this announcement with Minister Hutchings uh, to, to, to share with Albertans the good news that the federal government has matched Alberta's commitment of $390 million 
uh, of total investment each into rural connectivity for a total of $780 million of public funding. This is amazing news. This is getting us on the track to universal connectivity. So we've secured $780 million of public sector funding, pushing us so much farther forward in achieving the, the goal that will, as I've said, is a billion dollar problem to solve. And we know that solving this problem requires investment from the private sector as well. And I expect that this funding we have announced today will unlock significant additional investment from the private sector and from the service providers uh, who will be building out the projects that will receive some of this funding. Together, these commitments will support the implementation of Alberta's broadband strategy, which highlights our priorities and the steps we need to take to connect every single home and business to high-speed internet. Uh, and our goal in our strategy is by the end of the 2026-2027 fiscal year. Alberta's broadband strategy will deliver access to connectivity that protects livelihoods and makes life better for hardworking Albertans. Our broadband strategy, together with Alberta's $390 million funding commitment and along with the federal government's $390 million matching uh, commitment, will ensure that families no longer have to choose between living in rural Alberta and moving closer to urban areas just so they can get access to reliable high-speed internet to go to work or to go to school. Small businesses will have access to the resources and support that they need to grow in our local communities, ultimately creating more jobs for hardworking Albertans and ensuring that every Albertan, even those in rural Alberta, can participate in Alberta's economic recovery. We know that remote and online learning opportunities will be, finally be able to be accessible in every corner of our province. As more homes and businesses and communities are connected to high-speed internet, our province can expect to see many benefits. We know that telehealth options will be far more accessible to folks from every corner of the province, allowing them better access to better health care on demand. We know that learners of every age will have better access to online educational resources, helping them to reach their fullest potential. We know that upskilling for professionals will, will be able to help Alberta's workforce to get the skills they need to participate in a modern and digital economy. And businesses will be able to access a, the global marketplace and reach new customers and new clients. And how fitting today being in a grain elevator to talk about the impacts of connectivity on agriculture, the agricultural market, which is so important to Alberta's economy. Uh, precision agriculture is such an exciting space of new innovation and applying more technology uh, to, to deliver better results. And we know that to enable that technology, we need connectivity for our agricultural sector. We know that reaching universal connectivity can unleash approximately a 5% increase in Alberta's agricultural sector's contribution to the GDP. This is exciting opportunity for Alberta's future. And we also know that we can expect to see about a $1.7 billion increase in Alberta's overall GDP uh, in the years after we achieve universal connectivity. I often say that technology is not just an industry, it is the future of every industry. And connectivity is the foundation of technology. So with today's announcement, our governments are making a commitment to support the future of every industry in Alberta, and we are committed to getting the job done. I could not be more excited or proud to be part of this work, so thank you for joining me today, and I would now like to invite Kara Westerlin from RMA to provide some comments. Thank you, Kara. Well, good morning, and thank you so much for this opportunity to be a part of the announcement of such a huge milestone for rural Alberta. And thank you so much to the Legacy Society for allowing us to use this facility. I know that communities like this are built on the back of volunteers. So thank you very much. And thank you for opening up the facility for us here today. So before I get into my formal remarks, I just want to tell a story. Um, it's, it's rural broadband and access to internet for rural Albertans even before the pandemic was an issue, but it definitely was highlighted through the pandemic. And I'll give you an example with my own family. I have three children, school-aged children. And Monday through Friday, it was an argument when school moved to online learning, who was going to be using the internet to do their classroom learning? And mom still had to work from home. And it was often negotiating with teachers, trying to explain, you know, yes, I know I live four kilometers out of town, but I have not the greatest internet and I have to work and my children have to do school and trying to arrange those times. It's, it was, 
very stressful in an already stressful time. So this announcement, it, it truly means a lot to rural Albertans, so thank you. With that, RMA has been advocating for funding for investment in rural broadband for years. The current state of rural internet demonstrates that the private sector alone will not provide adequate service to rural Albertans. We know that rural broadband is critical for environment or economic development, educational opportunities, connect to agriculture, and many other emerging opportunities. We often joke, but are serious, when we mean during the pandemic, you often found farm trucks and combines sitting in a Tim Hortons parking lot just to have access to internet. RMA is pleased to see the government of Alberta's plan to provide access to high-speed internet to all Albertans in the next four years and the accompanying $390 million commitment. This announcement today from the Government of Canada to match that commitment is significant, bringing the total investment for broadband in Alberta to $780 million. This investment will significantly improve the level of service for all rural Albertans. The Government of Alberta's broadband strategy identifies that $1 billion is needed to address the gap and the total funding announcement today brings us so much closer to that number. RMA is excited to see how this investment will unfold and the benefits to all rural Albertans. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. This is incredible news for rural, remote and indigenous communities, including the rural residents around Leduc and hundreds of other towns, villages and hamlets across the province. This is a historic investment into broadband and an important economic and social driver for Albertans and businesses. I look forward to watching the next steps unfold. And before we wrap up, I'd like to again thank the Alberta Legacy Development Society uh, for hosting us here at the Luke Green Elevator. And I understand that uh, we'll be taking some questions, so I defer you to Mr. Luka Vujic to moderate. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I can get both ministers to move a little closer over there. And uh, now we're going to start with in-person media. Uh, so we're going to be starting over here on that mic. If anybody has any questions, please state your name um, and address which question we'll be going to which minister. So do I have any in-person media? Excellent. We will be handing it over now to the operator. Operator. Thank you. If you have a question on the phone line, you can press star 1 on your device's keypad. There will be a brief pause while participants register for questions. Once again, you may press star 1 if you have a question. We have a question from Sandra Stanway from Brooks Bolton Bulletin. Please go ahead. Good afternoon. Or good morning, I'm sorry. Can you please tell me how this money will unfold in relation to the Universal Broadband Fund applications, please? Thank you, and good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, uh, this is a significant announcement today for Alberta with my friend and colleague, Minister Gubish. The Universal Broadband Fund was established, as you know, to connect all Canadians. And as I said earlier in my mandate letter, that's my task, to connect all, all Canadians. So of that $2.75 billion now, we're taking that fund to, to, to uh, taking over $390 million from that fund to put in here. So as applications have come in, and I can tell you that the Department of Industry, Science and Economic Development has received about 2,000 applications under the UBF. So uh, they're in the process of assessing them now. We'll be doing that hand in, hand in glove with our colleagues now in Alberta to make sure that we're addressing the areas of need, that the applications are affordable, and of course that the applications are working with the communities involved. That's one of the criteria. Community engagement, affordability, and making sure that the technology that we're spending taxpayers' money on is scalable. So right now the magic numbers that we all hear about is speeds of 50-10, but we all know, as we've heard numerous stories today, that that, that speed is is going to increase. So we're making sure that the equipment that we're investing in is scalable for the future technology, digital world that we're all excited about Albertans enjoying in. Can I ask yeah. Sure. So, so uh, Minister Hutchings, uh, 
outlined that brilliantly. I just want to say that since our governments announced our initial funding collaboration in December, we have been hard at work reviewing the hundreds and hundreds of projects in Alberta that are in front of the UBF, and we've been doing that together. And uh, we are uh, collaborating on ranking and prioritizing those projects, and I'm really looking forward to being able to announce soon uh, which will be the first tranche of projects to, to, to qualify for the first year's worth of funding uh, between our two governments. Um, and while I can't tell you exactly when that day will be, I can tell you that our goal is to make sure that there will be some shovels in the ground this summer, this construction season, from that first batch. So I hope that gives you some context of what you can expect from how we will be rolling out the funding together as a part of the Universal Broadband Fund. Thank you, merci. Once again, you may press star one if you have a question. And there are no further questions on the phone lines. Perfect, that concludes everything. Back, and we can see some of those shovels in the ground and see the, see the results of high-speed internet in your province. Thank Thanks, you, everyone. everyone.